Welcome to the peaceful little beach town of San Pancho, Mexico. Located in the state of Nayarit, on the west coast of Mexico, about 40 minutes north of Puerto Vallarta, and only about 10 minutes away from the more popular town of Sayulita. San Pancho still maintains the laid-back hippie vibes that once drew so many to Sayulita. On this trip, I've been using Bucerias as my base and exploring the beach towns on day trips, starting with San Pancho, the place I was most looking forward to returning to. Good afternoon, welcome to San Pancho. This is my second time here, but I'm here for a day trip to explore a little bit more, enjoy the beach, and try some new restaurants, which is where I'm headed now to go have some fish tacos, so let's go. San Pancho is a wonderfully colorful town with street art around every corner. I drove here from Bucerias along the winding jungle roads, but once I parked, I was able to walk everywhere for the rest of the day, since the town is pretty small. For lunch, I decided to try a few places, starting with Ceviche Hirayel. There were two Google reviews for this place which literally called it Voodoo Street Food Magic, so I had to give it a try. So good. After that, I headed across the street to Mariscos Doña Tere, where I drank an agua fresca bigger than my head and sampled some agua chile, tuna ceviche, and some smoked marlin tacos. Full from all that seafood, I wandered the streets of San Pancho to explore the cobbled laneways full of cute boutiques and the occasional street stall or grocery store. It has a true artistic vibe here, with not only street art, but art galleries scattered around and boutiques stocked with locally made artisan products. Of course, there are still souvenir stalls and tourist-centered shops and restaurants, especially as you get closer to the beach. But it feels worlds away from Puerto Vallarta, Bucerias, and even Sayulita. After my stroll, I headed to the beach for an afternoon of relaxing and battling the bigger than usual winter waves. The beach here in San Pancho is beautiful. It's long, clean, has plenty of space to set up blankets and umbrellas for the day, and the water is a blast to swim in. As the sun was starting to set, I headed back to the car to make my way back to Bucerias, with the firm belief that I will be back here, even perhaps using it as my future base the next time I'm in this region of Mexico. As much as I love Puerto Vallarta, as it continues to grow, I also love the idea of escaping the crowds to somewhere a little bit more laid back, like San Pancho. Sun kissed and a little salty, but it has been such an amazing day in San Pancho. I really enjoyed revisiting. I actually got to know the town a little bit better. There's so many cool restaurants and cafes. Definitely the sort of town that you can spend a couple of days. So I think it's definitely on the list for a return trip for more time. I highly recommend it. San Pancho. Wow, I loved it so, so much. It is the perfect balance for a beach town of sleepy, quiet. I went during one of the busiest times of year, which is right around the Christmas period, and it was still so laid back. There were still plenty of places to eat available, plenty of parking if you're coming on a day trip. Uh, the beach is so big, and because it's not so crowded, uh, it's so easy to find a place to just chill, put your blanket down, and enjoy the waves. 
I like how it has like a little bit of a mixture of cool cafes and some foreign food, but also there's so much good Mexican food, still tons of great fish tacos, little places to get ceviche, the best ceviche. <laughs> I highly recommend ceviche Girayal. It was unbelievable. The reviews were hilarious about it being like voodoo magic street food, but it was really excellent. Uh, some of the best ceviche that I've had on this trip, so don't miss out on that. I hope you enjoyed exploring San Pancho with me. If you have any questions about Riviera Nayarit or uh, visiting San Pancho, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you next time.